Yo, what up? Welcome back to another quick flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to code up a basic pie chart. Now, just to keep everyone on the same page, I've opened up a brand new flutter project and in my main function, I'm running my app, which brings us to this blank scaffold. So you should just have a white blank app like this. Now, the first thing to do is let's go to our pubspec.yaml and we want to bring in this package called FL chart and I'm going to use the latest version number as of today. But save it and close this file and let's create a new file here called pychart.dart. And so if you start typing pychart, you can see there it is. So hit enter to auto import. And then we have to specify the pychart data. So if you look at the sections here, we can have our first pychart section. So for the value, let's say like 20 and let's give it a color. So just to see how this is working visually as we build this on, let's come to our main .dart file and in your scaffold, in your body, let's return my pie chart. Cool, so there it is, that's what we're working with. Now let's say this is our first item and then we're gonna have say a few more. And let's just change up the colors. Cool, and if you save it, you can see that's, what's, that's what it looks like. Now a couple of cool things that you can do is you can specify this swap animation duration. So for example, if I say currently milliseconds is zero, so it doesn't have a duration. If you change the value, right, you can see it just changes instantly. But if you have a bit of duration here, you can have this nice little animation effect. And so this might make your app look kind of nice when you have any values that change and update. And the other thing is you can specify the animation curve. The one I like is the ease in out. And so it's just the type of animation. But on a very basic level, this is how you use a pie chart. Now one extra UI trick I'll show you before I send you off is you can grab this entire pie chart and put it inside a stack and you can have a widget in the middle just to display something. So you can see if I have a text saying like revenue, right now it's at the top left. So if you go to the alignment and I just center this, then this is where you can have a nice little bit of information about what this pie chart is representing. So that's pretty much it. That's how you use a basic pie chart. I'll have the package link below so you can take a closer look at it because there's a bunch more features you can play around with. So I hope that was easy to understand. Let me know if you have any trouble with anything and just comment below. I'll try to help you out. But thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.